So the Gotham episode was incredibly crazy, the first part of the episode. So let's just say that the guard was just sitting there. She was just sitting there looking at a magazine. Looking, simply looking at a magazine. And she heard that beep, 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 beep. She's like, oh crap. I guess it's time to put on my face. She was just walking around. Listening to some good. And she goes into the Mad Hatter's place. And the Mad Hatter's doing sign language and everything. And you're thinking, okay, well, what's going on here? What is going on with the Mad Hatter doing sign language? This is strange. This is really strange. This is really... Is he trying to um, do the same thing he was doing the last time? Hypnotize the lady, and the lady has the info. She said, <laughs> no, 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 no. And then here comes the other lady, and she goes, wham. And you're like, ow. Whoa. Whoa. That's where the start of the episode? Goffin always does this. They always have their great ways of starting episodes. And I'm just really amazed how they do it and how they always make it so great and so intriguing. So, Matt Hatter's out and, he, and you see who else in a cell. Does he go to the scarecrow? And the scarecrow's <laughs> trying to do some new uh, scare potions or whatever. Is <laughs> it? I'm almost finished. Give me a little more time. Come on, Mr. Scarecrow. We don't have very much time. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. Oh, there we are. Now we can go. And then they go to Jerome. And what is Jerome doing? He's just relaxing. He's just saying, oh, you, So you guys finally came to see me. Let's go see my crowd. Let's go see everybody. He's doing this. He's doing this. He's doing this. And he's just like walking like he's the top dog. And I would not even say that he might have a plan because he's crazy. He's insane. He's not the Joker. He's crazy, bro. Yes. And all heck, all hell, whatever the is breaking loose in the city. And you're saying, oh, so, um, Matt Hatter wants revenge for Jim Gordon not letting him save his sister. But I remember his, his sister really was trying to get away from the Mad Hatter. So the, the, he goes on the radio and he says, um, Guys, could you uh, please just jump? Yeah, just sit on the, the thing. And when I say jump, I want you to jump. Wow. So he has everybody lined up. And we'll get back to the drum. And uh, the scarecrow shows up later on in the show. So he's trying to figure out his partner and Jim Gordon trying to figure out how to stop this man. And they finally find the radio broadcast and... He's like, well, you're gonna give me, the, you're gonna help me out. So where I can't help you out. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Bam. Ugh. And you know, I think that is really every episode is really incredibly cool. And that's what I love about Goblin. And you got Jerome sitting in some. Oh, that's too cold. Oh, that's too hot. And he's got this. Oh, just right. But, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh. He's got the strong eye, and his uncle is not very 
saying and all the other. So, you see where this family, Jerome's family, is really peas in the pod, if you know what I mean. So, Batman saves him, he lets him go. Catwoman says, I'm out of here. You do what you want. And it's back and forth with them. But I think Jerome, I think Jerome has found the Joker. And he breaks out the Mad Hatter from being put back into prison. And we are this close. Well, we are really close to seeing maybe not just a shocking episode, but a shocking entrance, a shocking introduction of the greatest villain in the history of all comic books. The Joker. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see how they do this. How they gonna do this? Is Jerome gonna be around? Is Jerome gonna be helping out the Joker? Is the Joker gonna have the glasses? Is he gonna have the hat and everything? And is he gonna be crazier and more insane than Jerome is? I think he will. And as I say, every time I do a Gotham Batman report, I say this is the greatest show on television. And I just don't say that because I'm trying to, like, pat them on the back. Fox and the DC and the people and the producers and everybody that does all the stuff for the Batman show. I say this because I absolutely love watching this show. Every new episode I get to see is more incredible. More intriguing, the characters, the, the just the storyline. And I can't wait to see where we go next. Where are you taking us next, Gotham? We better fasten our seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And as always, awesome, radical, cowabunga, dude.